So how do you get rid of post acne marks and acne scars? In this video, I'm going to share with you eight tips to do just that. Hey, I'm Daniel and welcome to DLM Model Lifestyle. Now, if you're new to my channel, subscribe, click the notification bell so you won't miss any of the next videos. Now, pimples and acne will go away with time, but the scars and the marks that they leave behind afterwards, they're a little bit more tougher to deal with. So how long does it take for the post acne marks to go away? Well, everybody's skin is different, right? And so with the right and consistent treatment over a period of two to three months, you should start to see some good results. But it also depends on how fresh the marks or the scars are, your ability to heal, and also how deep the scars or the marks are. So the truth is it will take some consistency and time. So you have to be patient. So with that in mind, let's start with the first tip to get rid of acne marks and scars. As you probably already know, most skincare products and home remedies, they don't always work as you hope that they would. But if you know what ingredients to look for in the products, it will help you out a lot. Now, research shows that a trio of a non-irritating cleanser, salicylic acid exfoliant, and an anti-acne product containing benzoyl peroxide can dramatically improve and transform a blemish-prone complexion and also minimize the look of post-acne marks. Also, you can focus on products with loads of antioxidants, vitamin C, and also skin restoring ingredients like retinol. Now, if you're not sure which products to use, I'll add the links of my personal best options for you in the video description down below, just so it's a bit easier for you to go and check them out and do your own research. Just so you know, I'll add also the links of all the other products that I'm gonna talk about in this video down below for you. There's loads of videos out there with home remedies that are just not true. So let's talk about home remedies. There's a lot of mixed opinions about it and some people think that they work and some people believe that they don't work. But let's talk about the post acne marks first and then we'll talk about the scars. Now I personally believe that at home post acne mark remedies such as rubbing lemon juice or any other kind of fruits on your face do not work. Why? because they cannot exfoliate the skin properly and their acidic juices are strong skin sensitizers that can cause post acne marks to last even longer. So that's a lot worse and you don't want that. The only thing that I might try is aloe vera, but you can look into that. Now let's take a look at the acne scars and home remedies. Now scars are permanent indentations due to damage of collagen in your skin. And to be honest, the scars are very hard to deal with unless you do chemical peels and lasers. But I will talk about that a little bit later. Now, there are a few things that you can use on your scars to make them look a little bit better. And they are manuka, halicrism, frankincense, vetiver, aloe vera, shea butter, coconut oil, onion extract, and apple cider vinegar. Now I know that this might be difficult for some of you, but you have to try and stop <laughs> touching, picking at and just popping those pimples and blemishes. Just try to leave them alone. Uh, I remember I had this photo shoot and I walked in to the makeup room and the makeup artist was sitting in front of the mirror and she was just going at them in a rough way. Uh, never do it in public. Anyway, I just thought at that moment, She's gonna touch my face with her fingers that just touch all of her pimples. So I had to go and talk with her and say, hey, please, I just go and wash your hands. And anyway, I'm talking about other stuff. Now let's get back to the video. If you pick out your pimples, then it can cause a lot more scarring and it will damage your skin. And that's not what you want. Now I know sometimes you do have to pop a pimple, especially, have a, especially if you have a very important event but there is a safe way to do it. Maybe I'll make a video about that later. Now, if you have severe blemishes, you know, those that are kind of inflamed and red and they just look very big, those ones, they're very likely to scar if you pick at them. So try not to. 
Now let's continue to the next tip. Now let's talk about abrasive scrubs. Now there's a lot of people out there that says scrubs can help with post acne marks. But can it really? Breakouts and acne marks can generally not be scrubbed away. It will just probably make things a lot worse. If you use abrasive scrubs over the pimples and acne marks and um, breakouts, then it's just gonna aggravate that skin even more, causing micro tears, which will make those acne marks even harder to get rid of. And that's just gonna delay bringing your skin back to normal again. Try to wear sunscreen every day. Why? Well, because unprotected exposure to UV light steadily damages your skin. And what does that mean? That means those kind of red spots from the post acne marks will stick around longer. So if you protect your skin from the sun, it will diminish the look of post acne marks. Now let's talk about prevention. Now most people get shocked when they start to get a lot of pimples and then the scars come and then it's too late. So you want to stop them right at the beginning. So take good care of your skin to prevent pimples and acne from appearing in the first place. Because if you stop them right at the beginning, they cannot cause any post acne marks or scars. So use a good skincare routine to help you prevent acne and pimples. Now, if you're not sure which products to use, again, I'll add my best options for you in the video description down below. Let's go to the next tip. PMD, now what is PMD? Well, it basically stands for Personal Microderm System. Now, this is basically like a microderm abrasion treatment that you can do at home. So what does it do? Well, weekly treatments reduces the fine lines, wrinkles, blemishes, and enlarged pores. But there's a lot of people out there that use it for the post acne marks and especially the scars. Now, just so you know, I have never personally used this myself, but I've read a lot of customer reviews and I did a lot of research on this and most people are very, very happy with the results. Again, I'll add the link for you so you can read the customer reviews for yourself and uh, do a bit of research. Now, most people experience that it kind of smoothed out and softened the, the post acne scars and most of the discoloration also faded. All right, now lastly, if you have very bad acne scars or acne uh, post acne marks, and it is at such a level where it really brings down your confidence. And you've tried most of these tips that I've mentioned already. Try to go and see a dermatologist because they know what they're talking about. They're probably gonna recommend uh, chemical peels or lasers. And that is probably the best option. But a lot of people are scared or not scared, they're, they're hesitant to go and see dermatologists. I'm not sure why, maybe because a lot of people think that it's too expensive, I don't know. But just go and hear them out, see the options. Let them look at your face, all right? And after you hear the options, you can decide what options to take or you just you can just go home as well, all right? Now, just a reminder, if you missed my videos on how to stop or how to prevent acne and uh, pimples, go and check that video out. I'll link it for you uh, right here. Um, that's it, guys. If you liked it, subscribe, click the notification bell, and uh, that's it. Cheers.